हेलो एवरीबडी एंड वेलकम बैक टू येट अनादर चैप्टर इन फॉर्मैटिंग विच इज अलाइनमेंट ओके नाउ इन प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी हैड सीन हाउ टू फॉर्मैट योर नंबर्स राइट एंड इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू अलाइन योर डेटा ओके सो लाइक वी हैड लर्न इन आर फर्स्ट चैप्टर द की टू फॉर्मैटिंग इज कंट्रोल वन ओके सो प्रेस कंट्रोल वन to go to the alignment window and then press a to go to the alignment tab all right now here there are various uh, sections that you can see in alignment okay uh, if you want to align your text horizontally then just press alt h to go there and select whatever uh, alignment you want whether if you want it left or center or right or you want to justify it whatever alignment you want you can select it over here the default value being general S same with vertical okay uh, you can uh, align it to the top center bottom okay the default one here is bottom all right now um, see normally what we do is we normally uh, do horizontal alignment horizontal alignment of any text vertical alignment is not used very frequently all right but uh, i will show you nevertheless how to use your uh, vertical alignment also okay then there's a uh, next uh, section wherein you can uh, change the layout of your text that is if you want to wrap the text if the text in any particular cell is really big one and it's it's not fitting in the uh, cell then you can just simply wrap the text so that the entire text is visible okay then uh, the a uh, key for uh, wrapping text is alt w all right then there is uh, shrink to fit uh, uh, option wherein uh, the size of the cell uh, is adjusted as per the uh, text in that particular cell all right again this is not uh, very very useful uh, it's used very uh, less frequently all right the key to shrink to fit is alt k next section is merge cells um, merge cells is uh, used when you want to merge or you want to uh, mix together two cells uh, one very important uh, note i would like to give as a word of caution rather you can say that avoid using merge cells because uh, when you merge two cells then it definitely might distort or break your financial models okay so it's really really very risky to merge cells avoid using it unless and until you are using only for merging uh, your textual data but uh, as as far as possible avoid merging cells the key for merge cells is alt m okay then there is the orientation section over here which says that you can uh, change the angle of your uh, text like suppose uh, i make it over here 90 degrees then uh, see your the orientation of the text the way it is displayed is changed okay and it is displayed like uh, vertically now over here all right so uh, orientation is also used in uh, real time models when you are working on financial models i will take a quick example wherein i can uh, show you how to use uh, make the use of this vertical alignment or your uh, merge cells feature as well as this orientation feature all right so i'll just escape uh, from this for time being then i'll go to your real time elbio model okay uh here if you scroll down here you are able to see the uh, table wherein uh, purchase price and uh, ebitda values are displayed this is a sensitivity table now i will uh, actually show you I ha how i have done this uh, alignment of this um, column purchase price okay so i will show it over here suppose here you want to display purchase price across various rows and their corresponding ebitda values then just go here and type purchase price okay tab out now see the data is spanning across two columns over here though the purchase price uh, words are written only in one cell the size is the data is spanning across various columns we'll look into that later how to adjust it now uh, first what we'll do is we'll see the formatting of this cell uh, press control 1 to go to your formatting window 
all right now uh, here we are already in the alignment tab one second just okay we are already in the alignment tab now we'll uh, make the horizontal alignment to center okay then same with uh, vertical alignment press c for center okay now tab uh, press tab and tab to go to the okay button now see the data in th in this cell is center aligned but right now you are not able to see much of the difference okay now what we will do is to make this data appear like this one like the uh, to appear it to be spanning across various rows then what we will do is we will select the number of rows that we want okay the uh, where we want the label as to be pur purchase price then again we will press control 1 okay and now we will change the orientation of that cell okay we will make it to 90 degrees and press enter okay now see the purchase price orientation is changed to 90 degrees but now we want it to be across this entire selected cells so what we will do in this case is in this case we will merge the cells so press control 1 to go to the formatting window a for alignment and then we will press alt m to merge the cells okay press enter over here see now your purchase price has spanned across the number of rows that you wanted it to be all right so this is one uh, area wherein you can use the merge cell feature okay now here you can uh, write, put on your um, ebitda values whatever they are uh, so coming back to our point that this is one a place where you can use the merge uh, cell feature without having the fear of distorting your financial model but otherwise uh, just plainly avoid using this feature all right so i'll just press control z over here and now we will come back to our original uh, data sheet okay let me close this okay so uh, that was about uh, basic alignment uh, things that you can do with your data all right uh, now uh, one more point i wanted to show you was uh, the shrink to uh, fit feature so press control 1 over here all right first i'll show you wrap text so press alt w to wrap text and press okay see the number of employees uh, thing is displayed uh, uh, on different lines now and you can see the entire content of the cells likewise if uh, the content of the cell is really big then you can definitely you make use of a uh, wrap feature all right i'll just press control z over here and bring it to original shape now again i'll press control 1 and go to alignment tab now i'll show you the shrink to fit uh, feature press alt k for shrink to fit and press enter okay so see the size of the cell becomes uh, uh, equal to the size of the uh, text that is there in that cell okay so whatever width of the cell is there then the size of the cell is adjusted accordingly all right so this feature again is not very much useful i personally never use this and haven't seen anyone uses using this feature also but since it was already there uh, i thought of showing it to you okay now we will just uh, press control z again and i will bring it to the original shape now uh, next point is adjusting the height and width of your uh, rows and columns okay now what happens is like in this case uh in this cell of number of employees see you are not able to read the entire contents of that uh, a particular column okay one option is wrap text but again it increases the height very much okay so now the second option is to increase the width of that particular cell now if you want to increase the width of your column then the key is alt o c a okay so press alt o c a and it will auto auto fit your column okay so alt o c a what it does is 
it basically auto fits your column width okay or it adjusts your width it adjusts the width of your column automatically to the contains okay i'll just press control z and again i'll show you so suppose you are here in the quantity cell then press alt o c a and again the co column width is adjusted accordingly so, all right so alt o c a is used for auto fit your column okay similarly if you want to uh, adjust the height or uh, width of your row then the uh, command is alt o R A okay so press Alt O R A and your width of your row is adjusted but here you won't see any significance difference over here uh, since the height and width of the row is already adjusted so again here you can press Alt O C A okay go here and press Alt O C A all right now suppose you want to auto fit your entire column then you can simply select the entire column or the contents of that you want to instead of selecting entire column select the contents that you want to auto fit okay and press alt o c a see entire uh, the selection part the selected part is already uh, made to fit to the width of your text using alt o c a all right so these were some of the important uh, points in uh, alignment formatting all right uh, what we had seen was you, you can press control 1 and go to the alignment tab using a then you can adjust your horizontal alignment by pressing alt h and selecting the respective uh, alignments then uh, alt v for vertical alignment if you want to change the orientation then you can give whatever angles you want in the degrees section over here then if the content is too big then you can simply wrap text using alt w okay then uh, shrink to fit is to change the uh, width of your um, uh, column to the width of your uh, text okay it's not used frequently but the key is alt k again uh, if you want to merge in uh, more than one columns then you can columns or rows then you can use uh, merge feature using alt m over here all right and suppose you want to auto fit your column width or uh, height then the uh, key is alt o c a and similarly if you want to auto fit your row then the command is alt o r a all right so this was all about alignment formatting uh, as a part of practice practice exercise what i would like you to do is i would like you to uh, take this header part make it center aligned all right and then adjust the um, auto fit the uh, width of this uh, uh, columns that is number of employees as well as quantity okay and then uh, take this to um, columns that is number of employees and price and make it make the data center aligned all right so try doing this on your own and uh, if in case you have any problem just go back to the video check the respective commands and try to implement them all right so that's all for alignment thanks a lot